Hey, and welcome to Two Pixel Wide. So I'm going way old school, way, way, way back to the year 2003, maybe? I think this game's been out for about 10 years or so. <laughs> we are going back to Final Fantasy XI. I have not played this game regularly in about five years or so. Uh, and I decided, I decided to pick it up again. Uh, they had a new expansion come out, Seekers of Adulin. I can never pronounce the names, so this video is going to be hilarious. Um, yeah. But, uh, so they had a new expansion come out, and I found a copy for the Xbox 360, and I was just like, why not take a look at it? Uh, that sounds exciting. So why don't we just jump in? I did a little bit of research. Again, I've been out of this game for five years, so I am way behind of a lot of stuff. But I think I found on my iPad here, um the way to get into the new stuff here so why don't we just go through it together this will probably be a longer video than my normal stuff just because obviously that's just gonna happen because it's an MMO so buckle up get ready I'm going to open my iPad which only has 9% battery life so this is gonna be exciting uh, oh crap I need the character permit and I need okay obtain by blah 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 sorry I, I thought I had it opened up to the proper thing uh, the Xbox 360 version is a little weird because it has that weird opening loading screen that I don't understand but uh, except the one thing that I noticed right away is that this game looks exactly the same <laughs> like, I know that seems weird, but, or weird to say, but, I mean, the game is 10 years old and they haven't changed, they haven't done any sort of, like, upgrades to the visuals that I can see. Uh, like, even a game like WoW that came out after this has gone through some graphical upgrades. But that's okay. Uh, so why don't we just turn this right off. Hey, everybody! So this is my red mage. So right away, you'll be able to tell that I haven't played this game in a while. Because uh, if you can see, I'm a level 75 red mage. Um, a, from the research I've done, it seems like red mage is sort of a thing of the past. B, the level cap is now 99 instead of 75 that it used to be. Um, and I'm completely poor by the looks of it there too, so that's, uh, that's really exciting. Or oh, wait, no, that's just my experience. Uh, I played this game for, I wouldn't, I don't want to say five years straight, like, I put a lot of time into this game back in the, back in the day. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm, oh, I hit the wrong button there. Stop. Alright. Um, actually, one of the cool things, because I haven't played in a while, I forgot this, but, uh, uh, I actually have all my macros because I saved them onto the server. They actually added that ability a few years in where you could save your macros to uh, the server, which really helped me out because I wouldn't have a clue um, about macros anymore because it's just been so long. Uh, this is one of the starting cities in the game, it's Bastok. This was my home city forever. Uh, I've already started the quest uh, to get into the new stuff, and they basically sent me to one of a bunch, uh, a bunch of different places that you can go to sort of obtain an item. And this wasn't the closest one, but I know the Bastok area probably better than any of the other areas. And I'm pretty sure, at, as a level 75 red mage, I know this place is going to be pretty uh, safe. For me so we're we're gonna do a lot of running around again um, it's been it's been a long time but uh, one thing I do remember in this game is there's a lot of running uh, do I have a chocobo I must have a chocobo do I have a personal chocobo I geez I wouldn't even remember that to be honest with you um, Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what kind of stuff I have in my items here. Um, I'm looking for like maybe a whistle or something. 
I'm also getting a lot of, like, a lot of my memories are sort of mixed in with 14 as well, so... Um, and there's no chocobo guy around here, right? Uh, map. And there's nothing. These maps have always been completely useless. Yeah, whatever. There's got to be a way to call a chocobo, right? Maybe I just don't have the item I need equipped or something? Maybe it was a key item? Maybe? Now... Okay, well, whatever. We'll, uh... So where I... Oh, geez, I keep on hitting the wrong button. Okay. I'm actually heading to up here, as you can see. So we got a ways to go to get there. And if I don't have a chocobo, it makes it really long travel time. Of course. Yay. But it, it, it's really nice to sort of get back after all these years, and it's like the same music, the same places, it sort of just comes right back to you. Like, I spent so much time in this game, and then just to come back and have it be the same is kind of neat. And if anybody play, put any sort of time into this game, you sort of remember all the music and everything. But I never actually did. I never did play the Xbox 360 version. And I'd kind of been looking for, or not not actively looking for one, but sort of keeping my eye out for a copy of the Xbox 360 version. And I just could never find one. So when the expansion came out, um, it also came out with a new ultimate version of the game. There's been about three ultimate versions of the game, but... Uh, there's a new ultimate version of the game that comes with the game, all the like all the expansions, including the newest one, all on one disc sort of thing. Um, it's amazing to me that there could be a disc that came out like a few weeks ago, and I could install the disc within the week or so, and have the update still take four hours. That was just absolutely amazing to me. Uh, if you guys saw my kind of joke video post. Uh, you saw that after the two hours, that was only about 50% of the actual up update. And then I accidentally um, messed up the recording. I didn't mess up the update, I just messed up the recording, so I only got about half of it. But I think two hours worth of an update video is uh, good enough for the joke, I think. And plus, I was using Fraps at the time, because uh, I was update updating the PC version. And yeah, that... Uh, Fraps, I don't know if you've ever used Fraps, but if you use Fraps for anything, you'll know that it just, it captures raw video that takes up a lot of space on the hard drive. I mean, I was I was capturing at um, standard def, 480p, and even still, that was a good chunk of video. Uh, uh, my system is upscaling this to 1080p, but I'm assuming it's probably running at 720, I would imagine. Just by how everything looks. And it, it's interesting to see the, uh, the interface isn't at the bottom and tops of the screen, and there's no way to scale that from what I've seen anyway. Or maybe like while we're not doing anything else, maybe we'll sort of go through the configuration here. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Um, can I get through there? No, I have to use... Okay. Um, Windows... See, I kind of went through this already, and I didn't see anything to sort of resize the interface at all, which I thought was a little weird, especially, like, on the PC version, everything is, you know, at the ends, is at the bottom and top and whatever of the screen, because I find that... The interface is sort of in the way at where it is. Um, if anybody knows how to scale the interface on the Xbox 360 version, let me know. Um, or at least, you know, make it so it's at the edges of my screen. Because I just find that it's getting in the way a little bit. So half the time what I do is I hit just hit the back button and just turn it off while I'm not really doing anything. Um, but... Uh, um... 
you can't really do anything while the interface isn't there, so... Okay. Boom. Off. Um, my original name was Xan, X-A-N. Um, in the time between when I was playing regularly and not, the server I was on shut down. So they moved everybody from my old server onto Phoenix. Um, I used to be on Titan, but now I'm on Phoenix. Uh, so that's why my new name is Titan Zan, because apparently there was a person uh, named Zan already on Phoenix, so I had to change my name. It was very unfortunate. I was sad. But, uh, yeah. So that's what happened there. Um, so what I'm, what I'm attempting to do, and probably won't get to in this video, because that would make this video extremely long, is there's actually two jobs unlock uh, that were added in this expansion as well, which I thought was a really cool thing and what happened. Okay. I don't even know. They won't show up on here because I don't have them unlocked yet, but... Oh, and they don't even show up as question marks in this... Uh, that seems really weird. Um, but yeah, there was two jobs, so I'm going to eventually... Um, probably today, I will actually... Um, unlock at least one of the jobs that seemed really interesting and start leveling up there uh, that job um, I think it's it's a good time to sort of get back in especially when they've added a few new jobs for the first time in years to sort of come back in start a new job fresh while everybody else is sort of starting them fresh and uh, yeah especially since red mage was my primary and it doesn't seem like it's that useful anymore um, they released a bunch of expansions that basically changed where where and how people level up. Um, basically to make leveling a lot easier and less time consuming. So you can plow through the levels in a few days where it took me like the whole of the five years uh, to get to 75 on my Red Mage now. I mean, I wasn't playing as much as some other people for sure. But uh, yeah, it definitely took... It wouldn't normally take somebody five years to get to 75. I, I did a lot of other stuff, but it would take somebody a fair bit of time to get their first job to the max level. Like, a, a bunch of time. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Like, this game, if nothing else, was time-consuming. Uh, this game came out before World of Warcraft really changed the way MMOs are made. It, uh, it was made back in the day where MMOs were difficult and meant to be difficult and meant to be time consuming and uh, um, made it so you had to group up with other people and... Uh, that's why a lot of people ha find it, found it really hard to get into this game and why it was a little easier for me to get into because um, I lived in Texas for a year so I was sort of away from video games at all back about 10 years ago. Uh, so when I came back to Canada and got back into video games all of my friends were playing this game so it was really easy to uh, get into a group of people that were already playing that were already a high enough level to sort of help me out I guess um, so okay so let's go to my iPad here we are in Palbaro Mines J8 map 2 okay so I gotta do J8 map 2 okay um, check them yeah it's too weak to be worthwhile because I'm level 75 and this is a pretty early place in the game so nobody should give me any trouble and if they do they're kind of dumb hi everybody what's going on it's been a while I used to mine a lot um, back when I was playing that was sort of the main way I made money back before uh, mining was kind of ruined well I guess kind of during Mining was kind of ruined by gill sellers and what that and whatnot. Gill is the currency in this game, in case you were unaware. Uh, I apologize if I start talking about this like uh, like you already have played it. Um, the nice thing about coming back to this game after so long is that I can sort of talk about it like a noob. 
because I do feel like a big old noob coming back to this game after so long. While still while still talking a little more intelligently about it because I did play it for a little while. I don't know. Now I'm just mumbling. Okay, so I'm still on the first map. Do 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 do. Yeah, if you ever played this game, you know that it's a lot of running around. Don't worry everybody, my home point is set back in Juno where we have to go next. So once I find this thing that I'm supposed to find, I can just warp right there because I'm a red mage. Sub black mage, so I can do that. I think the biggest thing I liked about this game was the fact that it was red mages and black mages and white mages and warriors. And it was all those classic... Um, Final Fantasy jobs and and that just struck to me and plus like look at how cool I look look at how cool he is that's the uh, red mage artifact armor um, my pants are the artifact 2 armor I only ever got one piece of the artifact version 2 armor um, in order to get that you had to go in with a bunch of group of people a, a big group of people um, and do these dynamis missions and I only I that was about the time when I was starting to get away from the game being married and starting to have kids and stuff like that so um, let's see here I have no idea where I am now oh this okay I'm in the second map I really hope uh, I didn't walk into a part where people were angry at me J8 okay so J Eight. All right, so way down there. I think I can get down there. Unless, see, sometimes the maps are a little misleading. Okay. But hopefully I can get down there with too much hassle. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a notorious monster. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I've been away from this place for so long that I don't even know... Um... Because, like, okay. Impossible to gauge just means they're a notorious monster, which usually just means, um, obviously they're much tougher than the normal enemies, and they usually have a drop that's interesting at very least. Um, I don't want to take it on. Ah, oh, jeez. Freaking, uh, see what I mean about useless maps. Okay. Um, I guess if I go from the side? Alright, okay. Yeah, and, you know, I could take him on and probably beat him real easy, because, again, we are in a pretty early place in the game, but I don't want to chance it. One of the things about this game is if you die, you lose experience, and I think I'm at a point now where, um, with my experience being relatively low, if I die, I probably de-level? Uh, no, I got eight grand. I forget what the, what the penalty is. I think it might be 10% of your experience. I could, I'm way wrong. I'm probably way, way wrong there. So, don't quote me on that. But again, it's been a few years. Oop, whoop, not going the right way. But, uh, yeah. So, dying is really scary. Um, most modern, oop, most modern, uh, MMOs have sort of changed that, so... Jeepers, stop that. Okay. I've mostly changed that, so... Dying is less detrimental. Uh, usually it's, hey, you've busted your armor or something like that. Um, which I always found more frustrating than anything is damaged armor. Alright, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I'm really bad with, like, directions and stuff, so bear with me here. Uh, hopefully we'll make it there in this video. I'm really hoping we do. And I hope I don't run into somebody that's gonna murder me, because that would suck. Um, I doubt- that. see, that's kind of why I chose this place. Is because this is one of the few places I remember as, uh, being really low level. Um, but then again, I don't remember the deep cavernous areas in here, so... 
there was a lot of points in this game where if you wander too far the levels of the enemies would spike at some point um, but I don't think I have to worry too much wait oh jeez <laughs> he looked like he was running towards me okay what did I say J8 right um, which one's J J is over there okay do 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 and I'm rolling solo right now. I'm not with anybody. I didn't really look this quest up too much. I'm pretty... It sounded like there wasn't a fight involved. I hope there's not a fight involved. Kind of sounded like it was, hey, go get this thing. Is that it there? I don't... I don't remember. Oh no, that's... Okay. Going back to the iPad. Um, check a geometric font on uh, one of the following locations. Alright, well... I'm not seeing a font or whatever in this room. Where am I? So let's go to the other side. I do remember. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Wait. Is that? I see it. I see it. I just gotta get to it. I just have to get to it. Oh, man. I'm excited. Geomagnetic font. And once I bring this, I should be able to access the new area. Which is totally exciting. I like the idea of new areas. Um, Alright, so now we have that item, as you can see way up here. Yes, I had to go do other things. So we got you. Your Geomagnetron has been attuned to the Geomagnetic font in the corresponding locale. So that's all we had to do. So now I can just... Uh, I wonder if I have a thing for this. Oh, I don't have a macro for... Fine. We'll do it the hard way. Black magic. And we warp. Boom. The loading times are really quick in this game, except for that one really long weird one at the beginning like that you saw, but... Uh, now we are in Portuno. Yay! Um, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, we do have to go move just a little bit here to lower Juno. Um, but this, this used to be sort of the main hub of the game. This used to be where everybody went. Uh, and then when Treasures of Acheron came out... Uh, that was the new sort of main place people went. Um, and honestly, I kind of forgot how to get there, so I haven't been there since I started up again. <laughs> um, but, let me just uh, click a button here. Okay. That being said, it seems like Juno is a little more important again because it's sort of how you... From what I understand, again, I haven't actually done it myself, but I did I did a little bit of reading, and apparently, in order to get to the new sort of awesome leveling places, you have to go through Juno, or something to do with Juno, so it's sort of important again, which is nice. Uh, so I'm in lower Juno here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Again, just this awesome... This, remembering back to the, the, all this music, it's, it's just great. So we go in here. Speak to Darcia. No voices in this game or anything. I will use for me to examine your geo magnetron, correct? Then please let me take a look. I passed the test.
So now we turn the Geomangatron to you. And let you teleport to Adulin. Oh, how convenient. Uh, warping. Your Geomagnetron is attuned not just to the location you visited, but also to locations throughout Adulin. Passing it over the surface of the portal will enable you to warp to Adulin. Warping is not free, however. Uh oh. Oh no, according to my materials, trading crystals to a waypoint will convert them into energy. This process is called charging. The energy referred to as kinetic units is recorded on the geomagnetron I have given you. Oh great. Hmm. So I recommend periodic charging. It says here that all I have imparted to you may be reviewed at any time. Wait, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> Yay, I got a fully charged one, not least. Uh, that is all the information. Okay, cool. And of course, you can't um, do this quest or enter the new zones without the new expansion pack. I'm pretty sure that was an obvious thing there, but I guess it's worth mentioning. Does that look like a little warp thing to you? What is this? Is that it? Uh, sure. I guess. Whoa. Whoa. I'm freaking out. What's going on? What's going on? Kaizak Battlegrounds. Or Ki Kizak? Kai Kaizak? I want to say Kaizak Battlegrounds. Seems about right, right? Looks like it's loading a scene of some sort. It doesn't entirely make it. Oh, wait. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Oh, perfect. It's really scary being teleported to a place I know nothing about. Oh, am I gonna have to fight something? Whoa. What are you? Do not interfere. This might be one of the new jobs, actually. So I'm showing you that, hey. What? I love how my character is just like holding this thing, like, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna just start freaking murdering things if I don't have to. so good. Yeah. 
And they're running away. That's cool. I think I think that's the job I want to unlock. I don't know, there's two of them. They don't, uh, they don't give a crap. Look, I know you were those herbs there. You do know where they are, don't you? <laughs> okay. To the right. Thank you. They're jerks. Those spirits were so intimidating at first, but they can't even tell north from south. Of course, it's only proper. Shrug. Yeah, it wasn't my first choice. Don't worry about it. To meet you. There's anyone like you around these parts. Are you new to Adunin? I cannot be the first person through here. I'm just saying. This is an MMO. A lot of people have done this before me. But that's crazy. It's lucky you didn't materialize all the way up into the forest through that thing ground into fertilizer. Or perhaps I mis misjudged you. The middle land. get into town, huh? Well, it's a straight shot through those trees. You can't miss it. Cool. I suppose we can uh, make our way to town. Hopefully not get eaten in the process. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get to this. So you know, it'd be really great if you became a pioneer. Then I could see you again. Oh, um, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Look at that. Get a bit of a title screen. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So we've done that well, on my iPad here, so let's uh, take a second. Oh, wait. Um, and uh, 
Alright, so children of the rune. Okay. Speak to Octavian and Eastern Adulin. I'm assuming I probably don't have a map, right? Nope, no map. Of course. That's fine. As long as nothing wants to eat me. I really hope nothing wants to eat me. Hey. Do you want to eat me? Oh, jeez. Incredibly tough. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, they look harmless enough. I'm just going to run by you guys. Please don't hurt me. Incredibly tough to a level 75. That uh, does not bode well for my quest here. If I die, I'm going to be really sad. But they look like they're innocent enough creatures. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. This is going to suck if I find something with teeth, though. guys. Incredibly tough, but again, harmless enough, I'm sure. And there's town. Hey, look, there's a person. Hi, person. You are a level 99 Dark Knight. You are cool. <laughs> ah, what's going on over here? Station administrator... What's this? What's going on over here? Waypoints. Oh, okay. What do you have to say? The station has already been built, but you can always help construct some bivouacs or keep them supplied. Okay, cool. Honestly, guys, I just want to go see town. Hi, everybody. What's going on? So this could be really interesting. Looks like it's loading in a cutscene of some sort. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The royal family, in partnership with the Eleven Orders, agreed to abolish imperial rule from, uh, whatever. It's a pretty decent looking city. Uh, became a maritime metropolis. Mm -hmm. Alright. Interesting. In the next chapter of Benadil, Benadil's history. Hey! Here's such a slow poke. I've been waiting forever, tee hee. Yeah. Arshelia. Arshelia was really. <laughs> And helping me find the perfect herbush right away. Okay, this person does not know how to talk. Uh, and never got scared or lost even once, even though no one was around. 
she knew a lot about all the different type types of herbs too not just the one my grandpa needed for high <laughs> ah okay don't you think it's amazing too uh, okay whatever okay just go go play do something okay perfect bye Bye. <laughs> hey, another newcomer. Adulim. By the way, uh, by the look of you, I'd say we're from the Middlelands. Apparently, I'm from the Middlelands. Okay. Pioneers uh, helping to colonize our continent. Oh, I truly hope you are. Uh, awesome. Despite my outburst of enthusiasm there, I'm not actually part of the colonization movement. Thing, stop bothering me. Uh, if you want to sign up, man. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Honestly, I just came for the new jobs. That, that's really it. All right. Okay. Cool. Hey. Awesome. Oh, uh, what do we say here? Do we want to actually do something here? Well, let's go see if we can speak to Octavian. Um, let's see here. I ate. Oh, of course I don't have a map. Oh, great. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Probably not. Right, who is it? Octavian? Uh, well, you know what? Ooh, frame rate. Frame rate. Oh, struggling. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to go probably make the attempt at getting this new job and stuff. Oh, look, there's another thing there. Yay! Cool. Anyway, thanks for coming to 2 Pixel White. As always, please, you know what to do. I'm on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you want to know when I'm doing live shows and stuff like that, etc., etc. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming, and, uh, peace out. Have a good one.